And we just heard the Premier Anastasia Palaszczuk saying that you and your party would mean chaos. Why do you believe that you deserve to, to lead the state, Tim? Well, uh, good morning, Monique. Uh, tomorrow, Queenslanders have a very clear choice. They have a clear choice between an LNP government that will cut power bills by $780 over the next three years, a government that will cut payroll tax for small businesses, a government with a plan to create 500,000 jobs, a government with a plan to invest $2.7 billion into infrastructure, creating even more local jobs, and a government that is prepared to work hard each and every day, that can be a majority government that can provide the jobs and the the security that Queenslanders need, as opposed to a Labor government that's internally ridden with factions and chaos and disunity, a Labor government that has no new ideas for Queensland, no new ideas to create jobs, no new ideas to lower power prices and provide cost of living relief. Uh, Labor have been running a fear, smear and no idea campaign. All right. uh, they haven't come up with policies. All right, Tim, well, this Galaxy poll that is just out overnight has Labor just ahead on a two-party preferred. Why won't you answer the really simple question about whether you will enter into a deal with One Nation if it meant that you could form government? Well, I've been very clear. There's no deals, there's no coalition, there's no shared ministry, but I'm not going to treat the people of Queensland like mugs. I'm not going to lie to them like Anastasia Palaszczuk did at the last election and say one thing before the campaign and do another thing afterwards. Well, in this election, uh, she's saying that she absolutely deal. won't enter into a deal. So she's been pretty clear on exactly that. that's exactly what she said. And that... And that's exactly what she said in the last election campaign. And as soon as, it was, as soon as it was over, she was scurrying around trying to do deals with the minor parties and the independents in order to form government. I'm not going to treat the people of Queensland like mugs. I'll deal with the parliament that the people of Queensland elect. I'm not going to hold a gun to their heads and say, you got it wrong, let's go back and do it all over again. But the simple message is, if you want a government, a stable majority government with the financial credentials to deliver jobs, to cut your cost of living, to reduce power bills, to invest in infrastructure, then the best thing to do is to support your local LNP, one, uh, LNP candidate at the election. Well, that was a slip of the tongue. All right, Tim Nichols, thanks so much for being with us. We wish you the best of luck.